Hey, what's up, you guys? Barry Barbell here to help you build a strength and nutrition habits for a life well lived. And today, I want to get into a topic. Uh, today's topic would be how to start getting strong. So this would be like your beginner's guide to strength training. If you're absolutely new to strength training, to working out, to fitness in general, listen to this video and get an idea of why and how you should start strength training. So I'll break it down to you in just a handful of steps. So step number one is to understand the importance of strength training. Now, strength training is important not just because you want to build muscle and get strong, right? Those are the obvious benefits. But in addition to helping you build muscle, strength training also helps you build your bone density. So if you're a woman who is menopausal, perimenopausal, strength training could help you delay the onset of osteoporosis. Or if you have diabetes or pre-diabetic, building that muscle mass could help you reverse your diabetes and boost your metabolism. And uh, it also helps you fix your posture, reduces your risk of injury, helps you burn fat throughout the day. So there are a lot of reasons why you should start strength training. If you just want to enjoy a high quality of life, it's easier to enjoy that when you are strong. <laughs> so, yeah. I'd rather be like an 80-year-old man who's strong enough to, you know, go on a hike every weekend than be an 80-year-old man who is weak and sick and in a nursing home. Well, that's just me. So that's step number one. Understand why you want to be strong. Understand the importance of strength training. Step number two is choose the right program. So I say step number two is choose the right program because everyone starts at a different level. Right. You can start as an absolute beginner with no fitness background at all, like you didn't even play sports as a kid, and that requires a different program than if you were athletic as a kid or you like, you've like you done some exercise as an adult and you're familiar with the scene and you just want to get stronger. Right? Those are two different starting points. Right, So you want to choose the right program for your starting point. One that I recommend... For that works just about for everyone would be Mark Ripito's program, Starting Strength. And that would be a good place to start, regardless of where you are in your fitness level, because you could take that program and adapt it to where you are. But let's say, like, maybe you're, you're intimidated by the equipment, like by using a barbell, because you've never done anything like that in your life. You know, you can start with bodyweight exercises and progressively work your way up to using weights as as you make progress so choose the right program for you just to get started step number three you want to learn proper form and technique so you want to for whatever exercise you're doing you want to look up the proper form and technique of how to perform it just so you stay safe if you feel comfortable with it reach out for help refer to a personal trainer or or exercise coach you can look up videos you can look up articles Record yourself so you have an idea of what you look like while you exercise. And you can just, you know, correct your form from there. But learn the proper technique so that you stay safe. Step number four, you want to start doing the compound lifts as soon as possible. So we're talking about squats. We're talking about deadlifts, bench press, overhead press, pull-ups, dips. If your program consists of just those five exercises, you'll be well on your way to being strong. Like really, those are really the only five exercises you need to get and stay strong for the rest of your life. Just those five exercises, squat, deadlift, bench press, overhead press, pull up and dips. If you just did those five, you're, you're good to go, you're golden. <laughs> so master those five exercises. And of course, learn more. Because there's always more to learn. And according to your goals and your fitness level, you may want to learn more. But you'll be fine with just those five. I recommend those. Start with those compound lifts. And step number five is to gradually incre increase the weight and volume. So as you improve, you want to gradually in increase the weight and volume. In the beginning, your progress will be faster. So if you're training three times per week, in the very beginning, it's very possible for you to increase weight every single time. But as that progress starts to slow down, you may need to increase the reps of your sets. Or, 
or just increase instead of increasing every session, increase like every other session, increase once a week. Step number six, make sure you rest, take at least one rest day per week. And then step number seven, stay consistent and track your progress because that's the only way you know you're getting better if you're consistent and tracking your progress. So Barry Barbell, you guys have a great day. Peace.